Ideas are a dime a dozen. I think the hard part is knowing which ideas are worth pursuing. I'm usually looking for, is there a better way to do something? When I see technology emerge in a problem, I somehow put two and two together. We didn't have to know the answer to everything at the beginning. An important task is figuring out what you have to do now and know that you can solve other problems later. I just had this image of how cool it would be to see thousands of robots moving around in synchrony, life of their own. That's really what motivated me. It was just that image of being able to create something like that. It's exciting to see this massive adoption and scale of these systems today. Instead of people walking around a warehouse to find the products that you ordered, a robot will go out, pick up a shelf, and bring it to a person. And the person would then pick the items, put them in a box, and send them off for shipping. And then by the time they look up again, there's a completely different set of robots with different shelves carrying different things so that they can create a new order and have it shipped off. If you use e-commerce, you want to know that when you order red, green, and blue, you're going to get red, green, and blue. All of those things are elements that the Kiva approach delivers for the customer. You don't want to shop at a bookstore with 100 books. You want to shop at a bookstore that has all the books. And then you can, uh, no matter what you choose, it can be on your porch tomorrow. It was a pretty common set of requirements. Just moving things around with mobile robots had all kinds of advantages, not j beyond just the productivity. You know, for me, it was a new playground for creation. I felt that teaming up with Mick and Pete, I could you know, create something completely new that had never been done before. And the biggest part was really making it work all the time. You know, we had a business model that called for having thousands of these mobile robots eventually running loose 24 seven. Those seemed like insurmountable challenges. Yet, if you broke the problem down into its small pieces, you realize that you know, if you architected it the right way, it might be possible to achieve it. Raf is one of the smartest people I know, and he brought a very rigorous approach to figuring out how to make the robots drive straight and be reliable and how to communicate with the system. My main contribution was to work on the software architecture. What components would be in the system, what tasks they would do, decide which robots should be assigned to which jobs, drive to which stations. We were all complementary skill sets and I think that's a characteristic of strong teams. We have a you know, sense of humor. We like to joke around. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Even when the, the stress was high and people were getting frustrated, we could have a very fact-based conversation about it and come to a good solution and find the best path forward. I think that Autonomy, autonomous machines have the capability, if used properly, to improve our quality of life. It was a concept that had come together and we were the three people who were going to lead the team to, to actually achieve it. Well, when I see these fulfillment centers today that are using Kiva and Kiva-like solutions, I keep thinking that it's still early days and that there's so much more you can do with this approach than is being done today.